Many people are asking how Ebola is spread and what happens in the unlikely event that they get it. Dr. John LaPook has some answers. The disease can be transmitted when a patient's body fluids like urine, vomit, blood, or sweat come into direct contact with someone's broken skin or mucous membranes such as the lining of the nose, mouth, or eyes. As the Ebola virus spreads in the body, it attacks the immune system and causes massive inflammation that can lead to damage of the lining of blood cells and organ failure. Ebola is not spread through the air. The CDC says there is high risk for exposure when someone has contact with blood or body fluids without appropriate personal protective gear. Low risk exposure includes someone in the same household with a patient or someone who is closer than three feet to the patient for a prolonged period and not wearing protective clothing. Shaking hands without protection is considered a low risk exposure. The CDC says someone who walks by a patient's room is not at risk. Doctor, you said in your story that a person within three feet might be able to contract the virus. How would that happen? Well, they're still considered low risk, but theoretically you could spit on somebody who's so close and it can get in your mouth, in your nose, in your eyes, and it can get that way. But it is not spread through the air. The CDC keeps saying that. And if it were like the flu, there would be tens of millions of people who have it because every year in the United States, tens of millions of people get the flu. Does the virus linger on things like door handles? Well, very little information on that, but it's interesting that in, in 2000 there was an outbreak of Ebola in Uganda, and they actually studied that. And reassuring is the fact that of 33 samples, and this was from beds and tables and furniture, things like that, mattresses, there was no virus except on two samples, and those were things with obvious blood. Now, in primitive conditions in West Africa, the death rate is about 50 percent. Would you expect that in the United States? No, and neither would any expert I've spoken to, because Ebola has not come up against modern medicine yet, and people are dying from things we know how to treat. Dehydration from severe diarrhea, we can give intravenous fluids, we can give electrolytes. Clotting problems, we can give clotting factors. If there's problems with the kidney failing, we can give dialysis, things like that. So we know how to treat a lot of the problems, and just Ebola has never seen that kind of modern treatment before. Dr. John LaPook, thanks, Doc.